Hi folks, this is Ray here, your friendly neighborhood nerd. Today I would like to address a comment on a video and uh, there was a guy saying that it's hard to add uh, non-free software to Debian. And that's what we're gonna do today. It's not magic and it's pretty simple. So let's just hop right into it, shall we? So welcome to my trusty old desktop where I have my virtual machine that we did a couple of videos ago. If you don't remember how to do it or if you want to know how to install Debian, well, feel free to look at the link above me. Let's start it. That is the virtual machine we're gonna fire up. And for the sake of readability, I'm gonna just start the putty session to make it a bit easier to read what we're about to do. There we go. We are logging in as the root user because we're about to do sysadmin tasks. So apt is the package manager of Debian and its configuration lives in etc apt. There we are. And if you look at the files in there, the most interesting one for us is sources list. I'm going to open it with text editor. And my editor of choice is nano. Please don't mind the registry here because that is my repository where I just save a bit of traffic. It's my local proxy. Uh, the interesting part here is here our keyword main. This is the part of the repository where we can add stuff. And there are some uh, like uh, contrib, that's contributional stuff. Oh, let me just add this real quick and non-free. I'll just add those without refreshing so we can easily look at the difference. There we go. Add it to all of the repositories because that's why we, where we get our software. Now, if I'm here looking for apt, I did a refresh before, but I didn't do it right now. So we're still on the old index. If I'm searching for, let's say the NVIDIA binary drivers, I'll use apt search and I'll search for the keyword NVIDIA. Is there something in the repository? Yes, there is open source stuff, which is in the main repository, mostly the Nouveau package, but I want to install the binary driver. So now if I refresh, my index gets refreshed. And if I look at it right now, having the contrib and the uh, non-free software added, I even get some binary drivers. Now there's something we need to talk about. What is free software? <coughs> Debian makes it pretty clear what free software is. They've got their um, guidelines for free software, which means that you, first of all, can distribute that software without limits. And uh, about the source code, the source code must be there and there shouldn't be a problem whether you distribute it as a um, compiled binary or you just ship the source code, it shouldn't matter. And uh, the license must also allow uh, things that you modify the software, that you improve it. And uh, this is very, very important. On the other hand, you also have to work with patches that you put on top of the software so you don't discriminate or um, do not credit the original author and their work. I mean, that's, that's a crucial point. Uh, for me, very important is also that you don't discriminate any person or have something like the export restrictions and stuff like that. So let's let's make up an example here. 
just because you've got blonde hair you can't use the software. That's crap. Seriously. And so that's not free software then. And uh, another thing I really love about it is it doesn't discriminate the usage. So what you use it for your endeavor. Think about it like this. Uh, there are a lot of um, free um, available things like malware scanners that are allowed for home use. But if you use them in a company, you have to um, get the license. That is <clears throat> something that discriminates the um, the endeavor to use it in a company. That's not free software. So it's gonna be free for all, whether you use it at home, as a private person, in your company, in uh, let's say uh, research or whatever, it's gonna be free. And uh, the license uh, that has to be for everyone, like, you know, it's everybody's equal there. If you get my, uh, the software I compiled for you, the license is still the same and uh, there can't be a special license just for Debian and uh, stuff like that. And the license may not taint other software. And uh, that's where it gets difficult because of, you know, uh, Nvidia with their kernel driver and stuff like that, but that's a different topic. Now you may ask which licenses are proper licenses for Debian that they consider being free. Well, the first one that comes to my mind is the GPL, the GNU Public, Public License. Damn, I can't spell today. Uh, the BSD License or maybe the Artistic License. Uh, this list isn't finite. Uh, there is, I think, the MIT License around. Well. But there are slight differences and that they need to watch about. Well, that's it for today with um, Debian and what is free software and what is not. If you made it that far, I would love to have a comment, you know, that your questions, your suggestions, if you've got something to say, please feel free to do so. If you want to increase my reach, leave me a like or a subscribe, that would be so fantastic. And if you're really awesome, you join my Discord server and uh, you can even ask your questions there. I'm there to help you with your Linux problems. So I'm off for today, Ray signing off.